If you've got a ChatGPT Plus account, then you're gonna really love this little feature that I found. It's kind of a hack, if you will. It's a way of uh, creating shortcuts with ChatGPT. So just by putting a little command just like this, let me just do this for you now. If I put uh, slash community, and then I'm gonna put my video URL just here, and I've actually set it up so I'm on G GPT-4, and then I'm using a plugin called uh, Vox Script. You can do this with any script, any different plugin, anything you want to use it with. And then just click go. You're probably thinking, well, what kind of a prompt is that? What is that gonna do? Well, what it's gonna do is actually go to my video, read the entire transcript and then create a post for me for my ChatGPT community. And here you go, look at this. Hey ChatGPT community, I've just dropped a brand new video on YouTube that you absolutely can't miss and so on and so forth. And by the way, if you wanna join my community, if you're into uh, ChatGPT, AI, automation, chatbots, you need to come over to here. Uh, here you go. This is the community. We've got 7.3 thousand members now, so an awful lot. It's free to join. Just come and join in. There'll be a little uh, a button right here that says join. Just join and then come on in and get involved and mingle with all of us AI fanatics. So getting back to this, there it is. There is the post that it's created for me. Now check this out. I can go uh, slash email and nothing else at all. It knows exactly what to do. It's given me the subject and now it started writing the email for me that also promotes that particular video. And there you are, it's actually got a live link to the video. Uh, we'll test that out, there we go. If I click it, go straight to my video and, and that's perfect. So how do you do this? Because it's gonna save you a lot of time, isn't it? When it comes to doing prompts, if it knows what you want it to do with a simple slash and then your chosen word. Well, what you need to do is go to this little section here that says custom instructions. If you do not have that in your account, then as I say, I think you need a plus account to have this. You go to settings and beta, make sure that it's on. Everything's on like plugins, advanced data analysis, which used to be code interpreter, by the way. And then uh, you should be able to use those custom instructions. Now I've done another video on custom instructions that I'll maybe add to this video just here if you wanna check it out in more detail. But if I open it up, you'll see in the top section here, I've added some information about me, what I'm using ChatGPT for and so on. But now look at this particular um, part of the custom instruction that says, please take note of the following commands and what they mean when I enter them. Slash community, there's the prompt. This is what I want it to do when I do that. Slash email, please create an email. I can send out to my list that gets them to watch my YouTube video. Slash social, we'll try that one in a minute. And slash summarize, I could go on and on and on. Uh, up to my limit, I've got one and a half thousand characters I can do. I'm only using uh, 894 at the moment. And then, yeah, we can basically create all of these shortcuts to save us so much time when it comes to uh, creating the perfect kind of content that we want. So I'm just gonna do another one now, just to show you here, slash social. So this will now go ahead and create a social media post for me that I can then use to go and uh, promote the video as well. So hopefully uh, you can start using this if you've got the chat GPT plus version. Gosh, it's only like 20 US dollars a month. Super, super cheap and incredible value for what you can do with ChatGPT Plus, it's off the charts. I've got a lot of other videos as well that will show you how to use ChatGPT. And you can also learn a lot from the free community as well. And there you are, look at that. We've got our social media post um, done in my style due to my custom instructions. I don't have to keep saying now with every prompt what I'd like it to be like. And now I've shortened it again by just having forward stroke and then the command that I wish to use to get it to produce this perfect content. So ChatGPT is getting better. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please do press that like button and subscribe for more useful videos about AI and ChatGPT. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.